Hi, it's Dr. Richard, folks. We're going to be spending uh, uh, about eight minutes today discussing the Zemer uh, Femto LDV in a 19-second pass speed. This is the uh, current speed that we're uh, producing uh, these beautiful uh, flaps with, and uh, we're going to do a case in real time for you. The, um, the increased speed that you're noticing here actually results in a smoother bed um, we believe this is because of gas accumulation in each track. Um, there's a small amount of gas produced by these very, very small, very low energy spots, but there are very large numbers of them. So by going extremely fast, we produce less total gas in these vertical tracks that are created by that so-called slow phase that's going up and down in the eye right now. There's a sweeping phase underneath, which is again the fast phase of this device. Um, the uh, prism can be stopped at any time, and within one second you're watching what's prism. And after doing thousands of eyes with this, we're quite confident um, in its ability to consistently create flaps for us. This device tends to be very small, and you can lift these flaps with a, with a, a forcep. There's no OBL, and we don't have no inflammation, so our first day visions tend to be uh, significantly better than we saw with a higher energy uh, interlaced laser. Um, and we uh, would tell you that the energies are exactly the same um, with the, the Zeiss and the uh, Femtech lasers. The uh, dry smooth bed, we believe, is. Part of the reason we get these better eczema results, the uptake tends to be better, uh, tends to be better, and therefore we get these increased rates of 2020 or better vision. We see approximately 60% uh, 2015 or better at this point. So this is a quite a step up from what we're doing with intralace. We didn't do quite that well. <clears throat> um, standard deviation here tends to be under six millimeters, and there's a 90 uh, spacer available, and uh, this is done with a 110, and we're creating around 106 micron flap here by. Uh, subtraction pachymetry, which you, you'll be able to see. Um, again, the, that moment of hesitation there that you're just watching uh, will be eliminated in the, the laser that you would be treating with. This is the, this is the, the latest iteration um, that will be coming with the newest devices. And you'll save about uh, four to five seconds there, probably, um, off your total time, getting the total time down to maybe 15, 14 seconds. Um, as you can see, uh, plenty fast enough. And uh, the main thing is, though, that we get these very consistent, very low standard deviation air um, flaps and with an extremely reliable device. This device is a solid state laser. It doesn't have all the amplification and all the complicated optics. And the result is um, that the device can be serviced. In fact, you can even buy a service contract which services the laser on the internet. So, really, there's no requirement that a technician come out and uh, service this laser. It's extremely rare. The device is mobile, it can be moved around. Um, again, entirely different. It is 400 pounds, but the 400 pound laser is on wheels and it can be rolled around, um, for instance, from your um, laser suite into the operating room for doing um, intacts or uh, any other uh, procedure that you wanted, like a lamellar graft. Um, we foreshortened the eczema treatment uh, because of my slower laser here. Um, the uh, major feature of this device is the rim. The rim is uh, made with extremely small spots because of the power of focusing. There's a two millimeter optic sitting, I'm sorry, there's a very powerful optic sitting two millimeters over the corneal plane. And this is really one of the uh, well uh, publicized secrets about this device, uh, which is that this very small focal distance means that we get maximum energy out of that little round plasma as opposed to the elliptical plasma created by Femtech, Zeiss, and Intralace. Um, again, by having a round plasma, when we come out of the eye, we have a much smaller zone there, so there's no gap. And without that gap, we don't get uh, blood accumulating from panis superiorly, which will create OB, uh, which will create problems with inflammation. So again, complete dissection without OBL and without inflammation. Second flap measured in around 104 microns. The trend is usually towards thinner um, than the spacer, and of course we have a 90 micron spacer. So if your uh, if your inclination is to do 90 micron flaps, um, these can be uh, done quite effectively. Again, uh, the point of development here in terms of our ability to do these treatments in laser vision correction has really gotten down to allowing the eczema laser to do its job and to stay out of its way. And our current problem has been historically that either by inflammation or OBL um, that we have been getting in the way of our eczema. Um, we did a study in our Mayo Clinic um, where we looked at using the Artemis arc scanning ultrasound the uptake of the uh, of this particular laser, the femto uh, second laser, or the uh, axiomer laser we're using here is the Bosch and Lom Technolos. And we found that in zones of OBL, 
that we had uh, under ablation. So in other words, there was a decrease in the ablation rate in zones where OBL occurred. And this kind of makes sense. These are inflated stromal zones. And inflated stromal zones would not ablate at the same rate. Um, the tissue has been kind of loosened and perhaps fluid fills in. And fluid, as we know, is the enemy of the eczema. Um, again, dry bed surface, better eczema uptake, uh, better visions. This is the side view of the same patient. Again, just to demonstrate um, how easy this device is to use. Um, it's uh, weighted beautifully in your hand. Um, I could literally do this with a couple fingers. Um, and uh, I'm tilting the head just a little bit to because the patient is doing a little bit of a, uh, 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 of a uh, Bell's phenomena. And I'm uh, capturing the, the eye with an angle superiorly. Once the vacuum rises very slowly to be non-discomforting, this is intentional. Um, and the, it's microprocessor controlled, so it's going to monitor the pressure during the entire treatment to make sure that we're not losing suction, as we often witnessed uh, during our intralace treatments, uh, that uh, very slow loss of suction with the, uh, the uh, Luralock system. So again, uh, this eye's done, but I'm just going to check out the bubble field to make sure it's, that we see a nice even bubble field. We don't see any gaps or any cobblestone, which might indicate a, a partial dissection in some zones. This is extremely rare now. Um, with our current iteration. And in fact, by um, increasing the speed, um, we get much better behavior out of this device. Again, partially because we believe now that the gas accumulation in the tracks um, at the slower speed was actually causing some of the problems. This laser is so amazingly fast, megahertz rate, that we have a complete dissection with overlapping spots uh, in spite of the extremely rapid rate that we're now moving the prism up and down across the eye. The prism, by the way, can go in any direction you uh, program it, including circles, uh, triangles, whatever shape you want it to do, it could do. We're currently sticking with this, um, this basic paradigm. Um, we did do some experiments in Biel, Switzerland, um, uh, and right after the uh, European um, ECRS meeting. Um, and uh, we are possibly uh, going to one day be able to do part of this treatment, maybe with circular treatments at the rim. Um, there also is going to be a movable optic within the head uh, currently, we have a head which does a very nice job of making deep tracks for Intech. And we're going to be placing in Intech rings here, and we'll have a video up um, in the next uh, month. And uh, second eye is now uh, completing, and basically it's done. And I'm just going to baby, basically check the bubble field. There I go. And uh, zoom in, make sure we like the way it looks, and we're done. Um, and then I'll go ahead and just demonstrate the side view, basically, of lifting the flap on the left eye, um, having skipped the eczema treatment. Um, that has already been done on the right eye. And just note just how easily these flaps lift. We do not struggle with these. We don't cause epithelial defects. Um, these flaps lift with complete um, ease. And, uh, and again, with just a gentle turn of the forcep. Um, very nice. Thank you so much for your attention. And I wish you happy femtosecond lasering.